What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Just Chris. And today, we got another TikTok compilation, fellas. This is number 90. Shout out to my brother, Treadmark. His link to his channel will be in the description box below. Make sure you go drop him a sub and tell him that the masculinity gang has arrived. Now, before we get into the video, fellas, <clears throat> make sure you got yourself some water. Not only so you can stay hydrated during my videos, but so you can take your daily RP. And fellas, don't forget to have your masculinity badge equipped. Because if you don't have your masculinity badge equipped, I don't know what you're doing. It's 2021. It's masculinity game for life. And we stopping and simping. All right, let's go ahead and get to the video. So my girlfriend's a feminist. It's pretty cool. It, it's actually pretty freaking awesome. Just a couple hours out of my day, I cook, I clean, and then I just sit on my ass the rest of the day. She's at work all day, brings home all the food, all the money, trash off like once a week, but big whoop, it's pretty good. You know, the males of the 21st century are pretty privileged. And you know, come around nighttime, she makes sweet, sweet love to me. And I just lay there and do nothing. And then I, and then I, I go, eh, you're not going fast enough. I'm honestly thinking about cheating on her because she doesn't really satisfy my needs. And you know, fellas, that's how most modern day relationships, how most modern day marriages go. You could be the husband, you could be the provider, you can, you can give her everything in this world and she still won't be satisfied. It's, it's never enough. It will never be enough. Because if you give her one thing, she's going to expect it. The next time you give something to her, it's going to be bigger than that. There's, there's no satisfying them, bro. So stop trying to please woman. Please yourself. And whatever you do for it, if you, if you choose to be in a relationship, don't go, don't, don't try to please her all the time. Whatever you do for her, she's not pleased by that. It is what it is. Move on. Fellas, even Bill Gates couldn't please his woman. And Bill Gates is a billionaire. And no, it's not all about the money. But if you're a billionaire, she pretty much had every... He pretty much gave her everything she could ask for. I don't know if if the digging stick is still there. Maybe she want to hop on another digging stick. Shout out to Steph, it's cold. But... Dang, like, it's just like, what else can you do? Being a good man isn't good enough no more, fellas. It's just not. It's not. Being a provider, being a good husband, that's not good enough no more. It is not. My friend Bob and his wife were at the state fair. Bob said, ooh, I want to go for a helicopter ride. His wife said, that ride is $50, and $50 is $50. Bob kept mentioning the helicopter ride and each time his wife replied, It costs $50, and $50 is $50. Finally, the pilot overheard and said, I'll make you a deal. I'll take you both up for a ride for free if you can both stay quiet the entire ride. But if you make any noise or say just one word, it's $50. They agreed and up they went. The pilot performed many fancy moves and tricks but didn't hear a peep from the couple. When they landed, the pilot said to Bob, I did everything I could to get you to shout. I'm impressed. Bob replied, well, I almost said something when my wife fell out, but you know, $50 is $50. <laughs> what does it mean to be a man? It means that I am presumed to be the villain, that I am guilty of things that other men have done that I have never done and that they have never done in front of me for me to be able to stop them. It means Thanks. at 18 I have to sign up for the selective service to be sent off to war that I might not agree with by a president I didn't vote for. It means that I'm supposed to provide, work long hours, work overtime, work in dangerous conditions, and that my life is expendable. It means that I'm supposed to protect and respect women, but I'm told that that's not enough just to be a good guy. But in order to stop bad guys, that would require leadership, competition, and aggression. Things I'm told are signs of toxic masculinity. It means that I address women as ma'am, but I'm told by a woman in her 20s or early 30s that that's insulting, that I'm calling her old. You can't even call a woman ma'am. You can't even call a woman woman anymore. Like us and men, we're confused. 
if you if you're not watching my videos, if you're not watching other videos, other people's videos about topics like this, you're going to be confused. Being a good man isn't good enough. Being chivalrous isn't good enough. Open the door for a woman isn't good enough. Being respectful to a woman is not good enough. Even though I call four-year-old girls, ma'am, it means I open the door for women and offer to carry heavy objects for them, but I'm told that that's being misogynistic and that I am demeaning her as a woman, implying that she can't do it for herself. It means growing up, I was taught almost nothing about raising children. And even if I'm in my 30s or 40s and have children of my own, my competency as a parent is questioned. And spending time with my own children is referred to as babysitting. It means that kissing boo-boos, giving affection to my own child, or checking for a dirty diaper could be misconstrued as sexual. It means in divorce I'm almost guaranteed to lose custody of my children and my role as a parent to be boiled down to providing part of my income. Boom. And that's sad that the child court only looks at look at a, look at that only look at a man for his income and what he can give to the mother. And that completely destroys a man. It's sad that it all boils down to what can a man do for me? What can a man provide for me? How much money does he make? What does he do for a living? Fellas, there's some woman out here that won't even date you because you you do a blue collar job. You could be a plumber making a hundred thousand dollars a year, but just because you're a plumber, she wouldn't want to be with you. That's the type of society we live in, fellas, where these women just want the the glam, the clout, the Instagram followers. Like they don't care about families no more. They don't. They just want to buy the next Birkin bag. They want to buy some expensive shoes. They want to buy all this BS. And I'm not saying all women are like that, but majority of them are. There's not enough good women to go around for all of us good men. There's just not. A lot of them are being brainwashed every single day by social media, Instagram, TV, movies. Enough is enough, fellas. We have to wake up. We have to follow our purpose and our dreams. Because these women are always going to be here. We need to stop chasing them. We need to stop validating them. We need to stop pedestalizing them. It means one of the main ways I am measured as a person is by how much I can earn, which can right. result in severe depression when I find myself unemployed or unable to earn enough. A depression and feelings I was never encouraged as a boy to express. I was told to toughen up and man up, and that it was considered girly or weak to show those emotions. And despite all those hardships, I am told that I benefit from a patriarchal society that I no more helped built than the person saying that to me. The examples I'm given that we live in a patriarchal society is that the 535 members of Congress are majority men, or that every president has been a man, or the majority of billionaires are men. But all those men added up is less than a thousand, and I'm not a billionaire, and I've never been a member of Congress. And those less than a thousand men have very little in common with the other 160 million men in this country. But most of all, what it means to be a man is that all the things that I was taught to be strong, a leader, a protector, are now referred to as toxic masculinity by women. Which confuses and troubles me greatly because everything I was taught as a young boy it meant to be a man was taught to me by my mother. Which was also true for my friends who were lucky enough to have a father in their life growing up. They were mainly raised by their mothers. And you know what? That's sad to see, fellas, because a lot of men are raised by single mothers. And they didn't have that masculine side, that father figure in their life to show them how to be a man. And they had to have a woman teach them how to be a man. And women can't teach young boys how to be a man they're not a man they're a woman they're not in touch they don't they're not in touch with their masculinity side they have a feminine side 
And a lot of men out here are confused because even when you learn your masculinity and you're in you're in touch with your masculinity, when you're a masculine, women shame you for being masculine. And they say it's toxic masculinity. So men are just confused. Like, what, what do I do? What is my identity? And it's truly sad to see that men are just so confused in the society and that we have no place to go. But now we have YouTube. Now we have people like Kevin Samuels. Now we have people like the Fresh and Fit podcast that's actually putting the work in and actually asking these women these hard questions and are actually putting these women on the spot. Because we t- we're tired for apologizing. Us men have been, been apologizing to women for years. Now it's time for y'all to do some apologizing to us because y'all have put us through a lot of shit. A lot of unnecessary stuff, false allegations, shame, shaming taxi, t- tactics, calling us toxic, all of this and that. And it's, it, it is sad to see that men literally just have to, some men just have to avoid women. Some men just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm just going to go my own way. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm just done. But it comes to the point where you have to. Because there's a lot of delusional women out here. There's a lot of shukabis, thakabis spirit that only wants you for one thing only. Your attention and your money. Hi. Hi. I'm, <clears throat> I don't know what your topic is tonight, but I just... How old I guess. are you? Hmm? How old are you? Guess. these nuts cue the cell laugh (laughs) you see fellas a lot of these women they they want to play games with you They, they want you to guess see see this is how a lot of women think they see a guy that they like they see somebody that they want to be with or want to shoot their shot with this is the definition of a woman shooting her shot in 2021 she is going to sit there she's going to look at you a few times she might walk past you a few times she might pretend to drop her pencil bend down and 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 show you a little something right and then she expects you to read her mind so that you go to her and approach her eventually that is the definition of a woman shooting her shot in 2021. Most women aren't going to approach you and say, hey, I would really like to get to know you more. Here's my number. Hey, I like your shoes or compliment you or just approach you in general. Women aren't going to do that. They expect you to do everything. Us men have to do their approaching. We got to ask them out on a date. We got to, uh, hey, oh, can I meet your parents? We got to do everything everything they just sit there like this like this and you think that they're the prize and you think that they are the prize and you think they bring everything to the table and they think you think that they're going to change your life and going to make you a better man fellas we do everything in this world damn near we built it we built social media. We built internet. We built the computer um, I'm doing this video on. We built the camera, the microphone. That wasn't my call it. They just live here, bro. I'm not saying they didn't invent anything, but us men literally built this world. And they got the nerve to say that they are the prize. No, fellas, us men are the prize. We bring a lot to the table. And a lot of women don't realize that just because they're independent now when they don't need a man now doesn't mean that they won't need a man in the future. Because eventually, eventually, once they hit the wall, once they get older, they're going to want a man. They're going to want a family. They're going to want to be in some type of relationship. They're going to want to claim a man because that's how women mind operate they operate off of emotions not logic that's why a woman should never lead you especially in a relationship 
second fuck boy of the night bailed on me on dinner. That's cool. Your loss. Decide so we're not going to speed past the part where you said the second fuck boy of the night. Meaning you had two guys that you were talking to that night and they both bailed on you. <laughs> That's what your ass get for trying to play the game. I wouldn't be surprised if those two dudes are sitting together right now having a beer talking about your ass. We should change the term from fuck boy to fuck girl. Because clearly the game turned the tables on you and now you're the fuck person. <laughs> Have a great time hugging that pillow, my dear. <laughs> and you see, this is the funny part, fellas. A lot of women like to say men ain't shit. But you see, no, it's not that. It's because you have bad choices of choosing men. You choose the men that ain't shit. Therefore, that makes you not shit. If you can't choose somebody that's good for you to be in a relationship with, that means you have A, bad decision skills, and, and B, you're just, you're just, you're not a good person max you just not because if you were a good person you would choose a good person if you knew better you would do better and the other funny thing is the tables have turned <laughs> because we know that you have flaked on many guys guys that you met on tinder bumble hinge plenty of fish i can go on and on about the date naps you said oh uh something came up no nothing came up fellas the reason why she flaked on you is because a better opportunity came up. Because you got to think about this, fellas. Women think opportuni opportunistically. They're opportunist. So if another opportunity comes up where she can go on a date with a hotter guy, a guy that has more than you, guy that has more clout or more money or more status, she's going to take that opportunity. Or any other opportunity. She can make money. That she, she is going to take that opportunity over you. This is why I say, fellas, don't be so emotionally invested in these women, bro. Don't put your all into them, bro. Because once they leave you, once they do you dirty, once you trust them, and they break that trust that y'all had, you are left with nothing, and you're left broken. A depressed young woman from New York decided to end her life by throwing herself into the ocean. My friend Bob saw her preparing to jump from the docks and told her, You have so much to live for. Look, I work on a ship and we're sailing to Italy tomorrow. I can stow you away, take care of you, bring you food, and keep you happy. With nothing to lose, she accepted. Bob snuck her aboard and hid her in a small compartment. Every night he brought her food, wine, and made love to her until dawn. Three weeks later, she was discovered by the captain. The captain asked, what are you doing here? The woman answered, A sailor is helping me. Bob brings me food and is taking me to Italy. The captain asked, Is that all? She added with some embarrassment, Plus, he's screwing me. The captain replied, He certainly is. This is the Staten Island Ferry. <laughs> I'll leave you if you get cancer or chronic illness. That's right, your husband. Hmm. You know, I wish my wife was still here so she could tell you that you're wrong. When I first heard this video, I felt bad for you, thinking that your husband left you. But the way you ended this video, making a man's character by the amount of money he has, makes you a very shallow person. I stood by my wife to the day she left this world, and I spent every minute of my time breaking my back to make sure I could pay for anything she needed. What you just posted is shit. Mm -hmm. And you know what, fellas? That's sad. Because us men, we don't think like that. If our woman lost her job, lost everything, lost her money, lost her family, and we were the only person that she had we will stick there we will stick around but most women nowadays they're not ride or die no more you lose your job you lose anything you lose the house you lose a lot of money she gonna be gone it's because it's because women love conditionally they love under conditions 
as much as they say that they don't, as much as they they won't admit that, they do. Lose your job and see what will happen. Lose that nice car. Lose whatever. Stop giving her attention. Stop hanging out with her. St start focusing on your purpose more than you focus on her. Those are conditions. You start doing that, she's going to start acting funny. She's going to be like, oh, maybe you're not the man I thought you was. That's because women love under conditions. The only woman on this earth, if, if you're blessed to have her, that will love you unconditionally is your mother. That's it. Your mother or your grandmother. That is it. Other than that, your girlfriend, your wife, they love under conditions. It is what it is, fellas. Accept that female nature. Accept that cold, hard truth. And your life will be so much better. Okay? Men live in a fact-based reality and women live in a bizarre world. And what I mean by they live in a bizarre world is that no matter how poor they act, no matter how fat they are, no matter how masculine they are, no matter how rude they are, they still think that they're entitled to a top shelf guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes we got to like let these chicks know, like, no, that's not the way this works. And then they'll get into arguments, whatever, which is futile. But, you know, it makes for good, uh, good radio and stuff like that. I would say this. Girls don't realize they've hit the wall until they're buying their own drinks at the bar. So Facts. Yeah, it's, 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 teach an emotional woman a rational lesson. You don't. You don't. That's the thing. First off, it we're not talking about entertainment. As a guy, why are you devoting all this time to try and fix a chick? Like we already know, you can't fix a girl. They don't want to be saved. And if guys are willing to give it this amount of attention and energy into saving her from herself, you're basically giving a girl commitment without getting anything in return. That's mm. a thirst trap of all thirst traps that guys don't understand. That's a fact, fellas. Listen, as the great J. Cole once said, she don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Quote that in the comments. Put that in the comments. Put J. Cole, she don't want to be saved. Don't save her. And I'm a hearted, all right? But listen, fellas, stop saving these females. If she belongs to the streets, let her belong to the streets. Let her do those thought activities let her do those city girl activities don't try to save her don't tell her don't tell her to stop no no just bro just let her do what she want to do she's liberated she's free it's okay society accepts it so i i mean i guess it's okay right that's how she thinks she thinks okay well if society accepts, accepts it every other female does it okay i'm gonna do it that's how they think they think high-minded most women do not think for themselves, unfortunately. It is what it is. Let them do what they want to do. Stop trying to save these women. Stop trying to be Captain Save a Ho. Stop it. Focus on yourself. Focus on your purpose. And the woman will come. They're supposed to be an add-on to your life. They're not supposed to be the main storyline. They're not supposed to be your everything in this world. They're not. Your purpose, your relationship with God, if you believe in him, that is your main thing in this life. That's what you should be focused on. Making your body healthier, getting in the gym, having your mental, your spiritual. That's what things you should be focused on. A woman never wants to be your number one priority. A woman doesn't want to be number two, number three, number four, number five. She wants to be the last as much as they say they want you to make her her number one, they want her to, they, she wants you to make everything about her, she doesn't. Because when you do that, when you pedestalize them, when you give them all the validation in the world, it's still never enough. And they still will leave you and give, give their all to a guy that doesn't give a damn about her. And that's a fact. Fellas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment for the algorithm, subscribe to join the Masculinity Gang. It's been your boy Just Chris. Shout out to the Masculinity Gang. Shout out to everybody who supports me. I love you guys. I'm going to go hard for you guys. It's been your boy Just Chris, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.